morning everybody here we are school run time I'm picking my way through the school run to take Gus the Gorilla for his first service his 311 mile service a QB motorcycles uh, what an horrible a day again it's wet at least it's not raining at the moment but it has been raining uh, it just feels like it's been raining non-stop forever at the moment bloody horrible weather so um, yeah so I've got my waterproofs on as it is just to get it there get back home do some work get back out pick it up bring it back that's all it's about today um, it's the 27th of September 24 um, uh, yeah and it's, uh, what, it's just get get over there and get it dropped off for service um, brilliant to see since uh, some of the previous videos that Ian Hughes who I knew was going to do it has gone and got himself a, uh, a gorilla as well I just <laughs> he, was, he was I did his excitement well but I knew he was going to do it just knew he was going to do it and he's got the uh, he's got himself a, a gorilla and uh, he's busy doing what I've been doing running it in and there's some great videos of him doing Kirkston Pass um, you know where he is I think if uh, most of you know who Ian Hughes is um, but yeah go, it's well worth going and having a look at the videos of him uh, teasing you at first but now you know he bought it um, on the ride of Kirkston Pass and it's lovely not only is it brilliant because it's a gorilla it's blooming brilliant because the scenery and the location is just phenomenal so um, I recommend having a look at that but so this this little ride out shouldn't be too much to it I hate this time of day and the traffic that, that associated with it I suppose it doesn't help living in the sort of place that I live to be honest we, uh, you know, the commuter belts for the cities, the city of Birmingham. So, um, yeah. So, uh, I've loved, uh, I love it. I love it more and more every time I ride it. Wet weather. It's wet weather again today, and uh, I don't feel any uh, issues with riding it in wet weather. I don't think it'll be a problem at all. Uh, this is my second occasion to be out on it in the wet, and it's, uh, yeah no issues perfectly uh, good at performing in the wet so I'll say it's a bit of a picking me way picking me way across uh, trying to avoid schools this morning <laughs> to get to QB's um, good news is that Rob our friend Rob Rob Fantic we'll have to find him a new name now he's got uh, as paid his deposit for his gorilla he's having the white and blue one I don't know what the colour description is for it but the white and blue one which is lovely that would have been my second choice so uh, Rob is joining the, uh, the Royal Enfield gorilla posse and uh, that'd be great that'd be great to have him back out and about with us uh, and us trying to keep up with him <laughs> <laughs> so there you go um I must tell you really uh I did have on the previous ride out I went on when I went to Ludlow when I was going to meet up with the boys the bike cut out on me three times just cut out didn't stall the engine just stopped um I really stopped it and restarted it when it or left it for a few minutes while we met up and when I got back on it we went and did the rest of the ride no issues and there have been no issues uh, this morning so I will ask uh, QB just to have a look uh, see if there's any underlying issues but it just, just the engine just stalled on, uh, on three consecutive occasions within f 10 minutes uh, as I say it cleared and it hasn't been an issue since but good to check that there's 
that all's well. Oh, I can't wait for those extra revs. It's uh, the 4000 is very, um, it's very limiting. You're having to think about your gearing all the time. Which is not a bad thing. I'm not gonna. I'm not, it's not a negative. I don't. I'm not gonna say it's a negative, but you have got to be aware of it. Whereas I think once you get to six thousand, you're not gonna be worried about going over the four thousand, if that makes sense. Uh, and I have occasionally slipped past the uh, the four thousand. Uh, lion, because sometimes you can't help it, can you? See that? Don't want that. A uh, bit more revs I could use there. But yeah, we'll talk about that when I've got a bit few more revs, which will probably be a little bit later in this video when I'm heading home. Uh, yeah. So plus sky looks like there's a bit of blueness up there. So hopefully that'll uh, materialise. So I've rather than put me. Uh, my Ricker gear on. I've just chucked my uh, my RST waterproofs on today. Um, yeah. So with the first 300 uh, and odd miles on the Gorilla, uh, my thoughts uh, it's live it's uh, gone above and beyond everything I expected it to. It's so much fun so much fun and I love the look of it, it really does look uh, just it, yeah the styling it's brilliant you've done you've done really well here Royal Enfield it's lovely experience of my first 300 miles with Gusta Gorilla uh, chuffed to bits absolutely chuffed to bits I couldn't be happier it's uh, had some re sort of early. You know, did I regrets about letting the scram go? I don't think I did really. Although I loved it, you know, and I was already attached to it, and I'd, I'd love to have kept it. But I mean, this is its replacement. It's because this is so good. It uh, yeah, I've, I've got no qualms about no real regrets about the fact that I had to trade the scram in for it uh, and the size scram videos are still coming because I've got the ones I did in Wales still to come uh, this year uh, would I is a question would I want to get uh, sell my a raw hand under 350 now I've got this uh, no they are very very different uh, this is just I say it needs running in to properly explain it I think or I need a bit more I need to unleash a little bit more to power to explain it but this is for a different purpose the uh, they just all have such a charm about them it's really difficult to put into words it's just this, uh, yeah, it's this charm factor really for me. It makes them so good and so special. They, they've all got their own charm. And uh, 301 miles on, I do got another 10 miles on, don't I? And it opens in 15 minutes. Can I get 10 miles in 15 minutes? Well, it's got a slightly long way around. So, for me, great buy, really glad I did it, can't wait to unleash more of the fun that will come after this service. Would I recommend one to people? Yes I would. Yes, if you want a fun bike, then this is the, this is going to deliver you fun in spades I think. Um, that's it really, I'm not going to waffle on endlessly, there's no need. Uh, I'll leave the camera running for now, I think, that's what I'll do. I'll leave the camera running, and then what I'll do is, uh, as things pop into my mind, we can have a chat about them. Now, the plan was this week was to get out on the Hunter, 
uh, and the weather's just been oh, rain. <laughs> Stop raining for God's sake! Give us a break. Um, so we couldn't get out this this week in the evening, unfortunately, because um, I want to go and ride the Hunter again. I haven't ridden it for a couple of months, to be honest. It's got to be a couple of months. And uh, I just want to go out and ride it again. And that was the plan for... So the weekend's coming, so let's, we'll maybe see what the weekend brings. See if we could do... Uh, see if we can get out the weekend. Now, sister-in-law's 60th birthday party tomorrow night. So potentially not going to be in any suitable state on Sunday again so we'll have to see but uh, and probably the weather will be abysmal so we'll see right a bit of a reservoir over there a steepish hill here 16% Engine braking, it's pretty good, isn't it? Drop it down to third gear. Nothing at all wrong with that engine braking. I just love the pickup. Really love the pickup. Uh, 303 miles. Probably going to be about 304, 305. Six miles short of the target. <laughs> Here we go. As we come down this hill, many of you are watching will know this area well. But we'll as we come down the hill, uh, QB motorcycles will be on our left. Here we go, it's coming down there. And they're already open. So I'll do a turn round up here. Oh. That van's blocked me away. I'll still probably do it. Just need to take a little bit more care about it. Yeah, just a bit more care about it. And let's get it. Probably parked up by the service bay, I think. Is where we want to be. Right folks, he's picking up uh, Gus the Gorilla, he's had his first service done and we're going home and we might go home very slightly the long way because it'd be rude not to really wouldn't it and at least it's not raining now so let's let's head home. No issues found regarding the cutting out that I had on it. So I flip that's just a one-off little glitch that is uh, 
resolved itself. So it's ten past three. School will be out. Schoolboy error. Nice. And now we have, do we not? An extra 2,000 revs at our disposal. Well, let's go. This is better. This is what we want. Uh, just being able to go over that 4,000 revs is a massive help. It certainly wants to take off with you. Brilliant. Lift him on there. Take him on out. Fifth gear. Awesome. This is what I've been wanting to do. That's just so much better. This is his happy place. He's in his happy place. Sixty miles an hour, five thousand revs. We do a right here. That will dive over Clint. Brilliant. Bit wet up here. Under these trees. Pulling every gear. 
That is incredible. Fantastic. Walton Hill, that's where I want to go. Muddy and dirty. Or muddy and wet, I should say. Brilliant. Of oh, course, you were here. Romsley, that's where you are, you planker. This is where you thought you were going to be. Thirty. Seems that the uh, 
first gear change uh, rev range between four and five thousand revs. From what I can glean from this at the moment, I might just nip over into that lane. Jump over into that lane. Fourth gear, fifth gear, a lot more there. You haven't got any chugging if you do that. Feels pretty much bang on. There's no chugging if you're changing after 4k revs. Right, you get the speed up, that is. Absolutely brilliant. So, coming down now, we're going to do a, a left turn in here in a second. So that's it, that's first service done. First service and a slightly long ride home. <laughs> Not too long, but uh, slightly long. Lovely. So, there you go. Back soon for another video. I hope you enjoyed this one. Not really a great deal to see, just me riding to this. Uh, QB's motorcycles and back again. Uh, no, nothing, uh, nothing exciting. We had a chat, had a little look at how the bike runs and uh, how I've got now. I've got a little bit of uh, additional revs to play with. Uh, just love it, just love it. So, uh, on that note, I shall say. Thank you for watching. Hope you uh, are able to have a ride out. The weather is uh, stays reasonable for us all. And I'll see you again soon for another video. So, as we say around here, to the bit.